My name is Paul Volker, and I'm a professional artist. I like to paint on plywood with house paint. The reason for this is because these are the two cheapest things I can find to use. And I used to paint with more expensive materials, but I got very hung up because I was afraid of wasting expensive materials. So I decided to go with the cheap stuff. If I didn't like it, I could throw it away. And this helps to free up your imagination. When I begin painting my small paintings, I start with a huge sheet of plywood. And I gesso it. I create my own primer out of glue and white house paint or gray house paint. Um, you can also use some non-skid textured house paint, which has grit in it. That would give it some nice texture. I take the blank plywood and I paint all the background color at once. Before I cut up my texture, I cut up all the background colors. I paint, I paint all the background colors at once. Then I cut it up. This provides me with a lot of individual panels because I decided one time it was easier to sell a lot of little paintings than to sell one big painting. So I like to focus on smaller work. People can hang it in their bathroom, in their kitchen. It's easy for people to buy. And it gives me a lot of chances to experiment. Whereas if I was only painting really big pictures, I could only work on big experiments with big failures. This way I only have little failures that I can paint over. After I've gotten this far, I then paint black borders on my pictures with no picture in it. And I adhere wooden brackets on the back so that these can easily hang on a wall. The purpose of creating work this way, in a mass-produced style, is because in order to make it affordable for a lot of people, I have to be able to produce a lot of paintings quickly. However, I don't want to sacrifice the individual integrity of each painting. Otherwise, I would just manufacture prints. This way, I'm able to mass produce all the background parts which are not significant to the overall individuality of the work. In other words, this painting or this painting, as far as this goes, up to this step, it's all the same. But once this part is done, then I can individualize each space with its own painting, its own unique painting. So that a lot of the what you would call busy work, by mass producing it, is out of the way in less time, thus giving me more time to devote to the individual attention that each painting deserves. I'm working on a series right now of 15 paintings, which will each feature the Shroud of Turin. And uh, these are my paintings. Well, I actually have a cloth Shroud of Turin against a yellow background. Shroud of Turin is a piece of cloth which for many centuries has was believed to uh, been a cloth that Christ was wrapped up in. But of course uh, they all have realize that this is not true anymore. It's a, it was a hoax. So, a hoax that was contrived probably in the 1500s. It's not unlike advertising today. The way everything is marketed and advertised based on faith, you know, uh, whiter whites and brighter teeth and fresher breath and a faster car and everything to make your life miraculously wonderful. If you only believe in our product, so, each one of these will feature a Shroud of Turin and some reference to a modern miraculous product, which I will invent, like flaming monkey brains or something like that, juxtaposed against white toothpaste. <laughs>